Then they come back to England tweeting, I want to live in Accra. I want to live in Ghana. Are you sure? Because you only came when it was popping. When the clubs were going down, when everyone was here, when it was like, you know, being in Accra was like being in Hollywood. No attention, please. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, then welcome to Life with MB. If you're returning, then I love you a lot. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. So today's video is a little bit of a starter pack, I'd say. In case you've been thinking, I wanna move to Ghana, I don't know where to start really. Like, what do I do? Do I just book my flight? Do I just tell my friends I'm leaving? How do I get to the point where I'm on the plane? So I thought I'd make a video to just kind of give you little like starter tips of what you could do if you're starting out just in the considering process and what you could do that would help affirm your choice or actually make you say, gone is great, but I don't want to live here. So I'm going to give you five tips on where to start if you're thinking about moving to Ghana. My first tip would be if you are thinking of moving out here, visit Ghana a lot. It may sound obvious, like, of course, I'm moving to this place, I'm going to visit it. However, you'd be surprised how many people come to Ghana for, like, Christmas, cheeky little week in Easter, bloom bar, bloom bar, loads of food. Then they come back to England tweeting, I want to live in Accra, I want to live in Ghana. Are you sure? Because you only came when it was popping, when the clubs were going down, when everyone was here, when it was, like, you know, like... Being in Accra was like being in Hollywood. So it's not a very good representation of how Ghana is as a whole. So it'd be a quite irrational decision to say, I had a lit Christmas, I really love my country, I wanna move there. Cause you're likely to come, be here for about a year, like people I, I know, and just go back to where like, to the UK, to America, wherever they came from, just because they weren't actually prepared for every aspect of Ghana. And the only way to really do that is to just visit a lot. So that is step number one. Visit, visit, visit. Visit when it's popping, visit when it's dry and people are just going to work and coming home, like me right now. Visit during these kind of times because that will show you what you're in for. Tip number two, if you're thinking about moving, would be plan, plan, plan another plan you can never plan enough that's just what it is it's best to be moving country getting on a plane with a plan with a you know when you're hitting the paper like this is gold that's what you want you want a solid plan of course things can happen things can change however you will feel so much more prepared if you've planned i wouldn't advise saying i want to live in ghana i'm going to go there and see what happens only because things over here are really slow because like the average Ghanaian just works kind of slow. We're very relaxed over here. So if you plan to get here and then figure things out, it, it will delay you a lot. And you might think, okay, cool. In two months, I can get this job from just, you know, meeting people, applying for jobs. But you might be six months down the line still without a job because people do just work slow over here. So I would definitely say, plan as much as you can if you want to come for work plan a possible career path not saying that will be the be all end all but definitely plan something because if you what's the, if you yo what's the saying 15 minutes later if you prepare no stop rewind if you fail to prepare, prepare to fail. That's it. That's a tweet. That, that is a tweet. You need to be prepared, very prepared. Only because getting here and deciding to figure things out as you go along will probably backfire on you and you'll feel like you've moved and nothing's happening. So to avoid that, plan, plan and plan again. Feel free to message me if you want like me to help you come up with feel free to message me if you kind of want some help on how to make a plan or happy to do so happy to help that is why the channel is here step three would be save 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 i'm gonna just put the word save all around because you need to save them coins like on a serious scale people tend to think 
I'm going to Ghana. I have pounds, I have dollars, I'm going to Ghana, I'll be fine. The biggest misconception out there, that is that. That you're coming from the Western world, you you have a stronger currency, how can you go to Africa and not succeed because you have some sort of money there? However, things over here are very expensive, so you can't hold on to the fact that, okay, I've been earning in pounds, one pound is seven cities, 50 pesos. So if I have a hundred pounds, I have 750, I'm rich. It doesn't work like that. Not at all. Because things out here are very expensive. So even though you may do the, the conversion and you may think, okay, I'm doing my hair for, for five pounds, that's so cheap. It is cheap in pounds, but you're in Ghana now. So you've just given away 200 cities, which is a lot of cities to give away for something. Forget about the rate, forget about what, what you've been earning, be prepared to save a lot of money. Because when it comes to renting out here, luckily I don't rent, I still live with my family, but if I was to rent, I'm aware that apartments can ask you for a year up front. And they charge in dollars, because they're mad. Meaning that you may be paying $10,000 at once, just to get an apartment. So don't always think that I'm moving over here to a country with a weaker currency, I will be fine. You may not always be fine, so do save a lot. And in reality, you can never have enough savings. Like, have you ever heard anyone say, I've got too much like in my savings account? Said no one ever, no one ever says that. So be prepared to save and save and save. That's step number three. Step number four would be, when you do visit here, which is step number one, which is visit a lot to get to know the place, once you do visit a lot, make sure that you make connections, make friends with people that live in Ghana. Otherwise, you're gonna come on YouTube and cry about having no friends. I did that, that's me, I know. Still want friends by the way, thanks. But my point is, make friends. Don't, not saying don't, but avoid making friends with people who come to Ghana once a year because it's gonna feel great in the moment However, when you do move back here, you're gonna be like, oh, right, they only come at Christmas. It's January, I'm gonna wait like 11 months to see someone that I know. So I would say, make friends with people who live in Ghana, who, who are always here, who know the country well, because those are the people that are actually gonna help get you through your journey, because they know the place. So make friends, also make connections wherever you are. Be always willing when you're in Ghana to talk to anybody at any given time. So maybe you're out in, I don't know, in the mall, you might see somebody or you might hear somebody talking about something that they're a lawyer and you do law and you want to get into law in Ghana. So be prepared to say, hi, I'm so-and-so. I'm looking to build a connection with people who are doing law in Ghana too, because I plan to do that. So be confident, be ready to network your way through. Because as you know, in Africa, in Ghana, connections are needed. Without connections, not saying you won't get there because if you wanna get there, by all means you'll get there in Jesus name, amen. However, having connections means that things are most likely gonna go a bit smoother and you're likely to get there a bit faster. So when you do visit, be prepared to network and make connections. Just beg everyone. Opportunities aren't gonna fall on your lap. You have to actually go out looking for them. So never miss an opportunity to network when you're here. Don't just go to the club when you're here, go to networking events. Try and meet people, you know. Email, if you're in law, email law firms. Like, hi, I'm coming to Ghana for Christmas. However, I would like to take the chance to maybe sit in a meeting with you and just kind of understand what your company does because I would hope to apply when I come back next year. For example, that is something you could do to try and build connections with people. Also, use LinkedIn to make professional connections. People in Ghana do actually use LinkedIn quite a bit from what I've seen in the working world. So I would say, don't be afraid to message strangers on LinkedIn and say, hey, I'm thinking about coming to Ghana to work. Could you help me out? Could we have a Skype call? Could we meet, for example? So that's step number four. Meet people and network. This should be you and the stranger, hand in hand, because you're coming there, you need them. Step number five is don't limit yourself to Accra. 
people tend to assume that when you're coming to a country, in any country, the city is the best place to be. Which it may be for, you know, like the nightlife and the shopping, but for opportunities, it's not only in this Accra that we have opportunities. Ghana as a whole has so many opportunities in other regions of the country. Therefore, don't be afraid to kind of put yourself in different parts of Ghana. There may be a contract in Kumasi, there may be a contract in Takrade, but you have to look for that. And to look for that, you need to open yourself up to that. And you can always drive down, fly down to Accra whenever you wanna, you know, have a bit of the city life, but don't be afraid. Don't limit yourself to Accra because everyone's limiting themselves to Accra. So be the one to go outside of Accra and grab an opportunity. Those are my tips on how to start moving slowly, start thinking about moving. And I do hope that this was helpful. And if you wanna talk about anything to do with moving or anything else, feel free to message me or email me. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you liked the video. See you in my next one.